In this video, we will have a look at droplet-based microfluidics and we will also have a look at things that you should consider when setting up your first droplet-based microfluidic experiment. Droplet generation enables you to create a very large number of droplets of a very uniform size. And this leads to new applications as, for example, droplet-based or so-called digital PCR. You can create very well-defined emulsions and you can encapsulate single cells for single cells analysis, for example. Um, the advantages of droplet generations are that you can compartmentalize uh, biological samples. You do not have cross-contamination between the different droplets because they do actually not come in contact with the droplet generator wall. And, quite obvious, you can uh, enable high-throughput screening applications because you can create so many droplets. So here are the things that you will need for a droplet-based experiment. You will need, of course, a droplet generator. You will need a pump setup that enables pulsation-free uh, pumping. You will also need uh, accessory like tubes, uh, connectors, plugs and all those things that will help you to interface the chip and connect it to your pump. And you will also need uh, the appropriate reagents as for example droplet oil. Um, the droplet oil should contain a surfactant. Uh, that surfactant will help you to keep the long-term stability of your created droplets. A droplet generator is a microfluidic device that possesses a defined microfluidic channel cross design. This design is also called a nozzle and at the nozzle two immiscible phases will meet, the continuous phase and the dispersed phase. The nozzle size and the ratio of these two phases, so the sample phase, uh, the dispersed phase to continuous phase will define the size of the droplet while the flow rates of the two phases will define the throughput of the entire droplet system. Microfluid Chip Shop offers a large variety of different droplet generator chips and there are some things that you should consider when choosing your first droplet generator chip. For example, you should consider the nozzle size, you should consider the nozzle geometry, and you should consider that we offer chips that actually do have more than one functional droplet generation unit on one chip and that those geometries can even vary within one chip. This will help you to set up experiments and trial around a little bit. Also, we offer chips with a, a droplet storage option and I would really recommend that you have a look into our little droplet generation booklet because there yeah, you can find a lot of good uh, tips and hints on droplet generation and you will also find uh, droplet kits that will help you to start your droplet based microfluidic experiment within no time. 